Hello, my name is Valeria Dominguez and I'll be doing a formal and biographical analysis um, of this artwork. It's called Self-Portrait with Calavera by Luis Jimenez. This two-dimensional drawing was created by the technique of etching and as you can see it is mostly composed out of lines. This painting is abstract and it is a symmetrical balance. As you can see, it, it, does not, um, it doesn't have the perfect symmetry as if you fold it this way, but because of the eyes and obviously not all the lines are created um, the same, but it does create the illusion of, of it almost being symmetrical, like perfectly symmetrical. The eyes and the nose could be considered the focal point of this piece of art. It draws attention to the center of the Calavera's face in between all this chaos surrounding it. This artwork has low-key color and they're all neutrals. We have some white, we have some black, and some brown. Lines are the most important element in this piece of art. The lines are soft, they're free, and forceful. As you can see, most lines are curves. They are located all over the calavera's face, eyes, cheeks, and nose. But we also have some vertical lines, and those lines create tension around the mouth and the teeth of this calavera. We have implied lines all over this drawing. They are not continuous and they're just the outline of what makes up the eyes, the nose, the chin, and you can also see it along the hairline. The artist was able to create shading using the lines by using the technique cross hatching. Luis Jimenez was born in El Paso and had some Mexican descent. It clearly influenced him in this artwork. He named this piece of art self-portrait with calavera instead of skull in English. Um, you can see the chaos here. Calaveras are associated with death and you can see the chaos it created. You can see the anxiety and you can feel a sense of helplessness and sadness and it feels like he was at the verge of dying. The security lady made this experience quite unique. She kept following me around the whole museum. I was just walking around, taking a look, and she was always like two feet behind me or right beside me. And I was trying to record myself like, you know, very awkwardly. And she made it even more uncomfortable because she just kept staring and just she was just standing there but overall it was a nice experience